Hi, welcome back to the course of airline planning and optimization. Today we're going to study how can we formulate and implement optimization models. In terms of the content of this lecture, it fits on the methodological side of the program of the course. More specifically, we're going to build knowledge regarding mixed integer linear programming models or MLP. These are optimization models um, formulated in a mathematical way that relate decision variables in a linear way. That means that our decision variables will show up both in the objective function and the constraints in a linear format. They are also called mixed integer because there we can use both uh, integer decision variables and continuous decision variables. In the specific case of the lecture today, we're going only to use uh, continuous um, variables. And we're going to use the multi-commodity flow problem, a wildly known uh, problem, as a reference during this lecture. The lecture of today is divided in two parts. So the first part is the video that you are watching now, and there we're going to discuss this moody commodity flow problem, uh, what is the problem, but also uh, how can we formulate it. And in the sec second uh, part, and a second video, we're going to discuss the implementation in Python and using Gorobi as the solver for our optimization problem. I will also provide some slides that repeat this lecture, but in using MATLAB and CPLEX as the solver. Let's uh, start studying the, the multi-commodity flow problem. It consists in using a transportation network to transport a set of different commodities. These commodities could be cargo items or passengers with different uh, classes of fares, vehicle types, but it can also be message in an information network or it could be a general item that we are transporting in a network. These commodities, they have different characteristics. This could be physical characteristics or attributes, like for instance the origin and destination of these uh, commodities. The goal of the problem is to minimize the total costs that we incur when we have to transport all commodities from their origin to their destination. In the airline industry, this problem is uh, used to solve several operational problems, like the crew pairing problem, which is a, a sub-problem of the crew scheduling uh, problem, or the fleet assignment uh, problem. We're going to revisit this multi commodity flow problem in a later uh, lecture. To understand the problem itself, Let's look into a specific uh, toy example where we do have here a network with five nodes and seven uh, arcs, and we want to transport four commodities. The information of the arcs and commodities are presented in the two tables. The goal, or what we are trying to uh, answer, is what are the flows in the network that will minimize the costs of transporting all the four commodities, giving the arcs, uh, costs, and capacities that we provide. To formulate this in a mathematical way, we need to define both decision variables and parameters. Decision variables are quantities that we have to determine to solve the problem. So when we obtain the best values, we say that we solve the problem and this is the solution to the problem, the values that you obtain. They are always unknown when you start solving the problems, and this could refer to the flows per arc, like it happens in our multi-commodity flow problem, but also the number of aircraft to buy if we are solving a fleet composition problem, or the aircraft that is going to be allocated to a specific route. This is a binary decision variable, by the way, and this is used, for instance, in the fleet assignment uh, problem. Parameters, on the other end, they are known in the beginning. They are quantities that define characteristics, features, or measurable factors that describe our problem. They could be the arc costs, the number of aircraft that we do have in the fleet, the capacity per arc, or many other parameters that we may use to define our problem. With the parameters 
and decision variables, we formulate our objective function and constraints. Starting with the objective function, the objective function defines the goal of the problem. Via mathematical formulation, we relate our decision variables with their cost values, with their parameters that define the objective function. And these uh, functions, they have to be either a minimization or a maximization function. So I propose to you here uh, four different objective functions. The first one is the minimization of the costs associated with the flow, like we do have in our uh, reference problem. But it can also be a problem of maximizing revenues, in which we have passengers multiplied by the yield and the distance that they will travel with us. Or a problem that I want to maximize the number of passengers which I'm serving. And in this case, I sum all passengers flying with me and I want to maximize that value. Or another perspective is to minimize spillage. So if I provide a, a capacity and I know the demand, I want to have the minimum difference between these two. I mentioned constraints. Here are some examples of constraints. They relate uh, some of the parameters with decision variables to state some um, requirements that have to be ver verified when uh, we are obtaining the optimal solution to our problem. This could be flow continuity at the node, where I say, okay, the number of passengers that get out from that node minus the number of passengers that get in, in that node needs to be equal to the demand that ge is generated in that node. Or a demand constraint, where I say I have to transport all the demand in the node I in my network. And then I say, okay, all passengers leaving the node I to any other node J in my network has to be equal. If I sum all of these, has to be equal to the demand in that node. Or a capacity constraint, where I say in this arc, I cannot have more passengers than the capacity that I have present in that arc. Or a budget constraint, which says, okay, the cost of acquiring the fleet that I say is the best fleet for me has to be lower than a given budget that I do have available to purchase those aircraft. Okay, so given the discussion we had regarding the decision variables, parameters, objective function, and constraints, how can we then formulate the multi-commodity flow problem? Okay, this is a, a, what we are seeing here in this slide is a, a, a general formulation of this problem where I do have the objective of minimizing the total costs, and I do have two sets of uh, uh, constraints. The first one, which is divided in three lines, regards the demand per commodity, and the second set of constraints regards the capacity per uh, arc in my network. Let's look into more detail on what I'm representing here in this formulation. So I know that my goal is to minimize the costs that we do have when transporting all commodities K over all my arcs L in my network. So I can estimate uh, or compute the total cost by multiplying the cost per item of each type of commodity in a given arc times the number of items with, of that specific commodity that I'm transporting in that arc. That's what we do there in the objective function. So my XMK is the matrix of my decision variables which regards the number of items of type K that I'm transporting in uh, arc M of my network. Costs are also uh, related to commodities in this uh, general uh, formulation, but in our specific problem, there are no differences of costs in a given arc uh, that depends on the commodity. But nevertheless, this is a generic uh, formulation. If I sum all these multiplications of costs and decision variables, for all combinations of uh, uh, commodities and uh, arcs, I do have the formulation of my total costs, and I want to minimize that. That's what appears in my objective function. In the constraints, let's discuss the first uh, uh, set of constraints. So it's, it is divided in three lines because we can be analyzing a node, which is the start or the origin of that commodity K, or it's the end node of that commodity K, that's the second line, or it's neither the cases, neither the origin nor the destination of that commodity K, so it's a transition node. 
and that's the last line of this set of constraints one. What I want there is to say, okay, if this is node i is the origin of my commodity k, then I want to have the outflow minus the inflow of items of that type of commodity in that arc i equal to the generation of demand of that commodity in that node. On the other hand, if it's the destination, I want the difference between the outflow and the inflow to be equal to minus the demand, because the demand will disappear in that node. If it's a transition node, I want the outflow to be exactly the same as the in inbound flow. So there is no generation or any uh, demand disappearing in that node. And I do that uh, balance between inflow and outflow by summing the flows of uh, that commodity K in the arcs that starts uh, in node I minus the arcs that end at node I. In the second set of constraints, I'm going to relate the flows that are, that are using that arc with the capacity that I have for arc. And I have to do this for all arcs in my network. So I'm going to sum over all the commodities. I'm going to sum the flows using that specific uh, arc M. And this sum of flows has to be lower than the parameter capacity M, which is the capacity of my arc M. Be aware, this is very important, that I don't say that I do have one constraint in two. I have a set of constraints. Why? Because in my full implementation of this model, I have to write this constraint as many times as the number of elements in my set arcs, my set L. So in our particular problem, I'll have to write this constraint seven times because I do have seven arcs. Indeed, I only have one uh, expression, but I do have seven constraints in my model when uh, being represented by the set of constraints too. It's really important to keep in mind. Okay, and this is the, the clean version of the model, so you have a, a look, you can analyze and see if you, you understand. In the next video, we're going to look into the implementation of this specific uh, problem using Python and uh, Guru. Bye-bye.